Ooh. Welcome back to Outriders, the endless Outriders grind. I was standing too close to the waterfall. I could hear the waterfall in the back. How do I, how do I play this game? Okay, okay. Beasts got to them. I saw me a little bit of a struggle to get used to it. Because I've played Dead Space and Death in the Water mostly. Quite different to this game. This is an audio test again. I've tested a lot of audio recently because, well, troubleshooting. Mostly with Dead Space. Which was more so a startup problem. Which this game thankfully does not have. But also a sidechain plugging test. Again, again. Always the problem of sidechain plugging. So I can shoot like I'm doing right now and talk over it. Which is mostly the biggest trouble. And sidechain plugging sadly ain't that easy. Which means that, well, exactly that. The person. The processor, compressor, the compressor kicks in when I shoot, when the music is loud and the background music gets more silent while my voice stays loud. That sidechain compression, which OBS has, but it's not as good as it could be. If it would be as good like I can do it in an audio software in a DAW I could use for example TDA Nova which is an equalizer to compress certain frequencies so the audio sounds better I could do Q audio sidechain compress that thing but it's not a thing uh, it's not a thing man also I've put way more saturation over my recording chain so my voice sticks through and sounds what well, fuller fuller i guess and i'm gonna test that actually right effing now before i jump any further to see how good the sidechain compression actually got that works damn it man damn it yo see in a second okay seems to work everything quite well i realized often when i record in the dark it seems like i have a black eye or blue eye here somebody punched me in the face i guess it's kind of more so like tiredness i don't know i like to play out right as middle of the night it's a i don't know kind of peaceful game it's something i like to do often back in the day with killing floor huh what else comes close to it fallout fallout and scarum so More much bodies. Around an obelisk mechanism. Two midnight like games. To activate it. Okay. My compression seems to do fine, and my saturation options also seem to bring me to the next audio level of me trying to push for better audio. I have a bunch of plugins, some free, some paid for. I will show them to you after the video. For the people who actually care about that kind of stuff because OBS gives you a lot of free options but there are definitely always way better options also free like TDR Nova's equalizer dynamic equalizer which is pretty much the best equalizer out there anyways bum, bum. Nothing comes quite close, especially for free blogins. And I'm always on the lookout for new good plugins, especially free. Oh, damn you. Damn you. Breathe mortar. Would be bad if I actually die in here while I'm just doing chill audio tests in this game. 
Arthritis. Arthritis is pretty much dead at this point. Uh, anyways, the latest news I saw on that. Not news, just some guy posting stuff on Reddit. The latest post I saw on Reddit was a guy talking about uh, that if a dev sees this post, he should work out the patch in the future where they switch this game into an offline mode and not online servers. So when the game is completely dead, that there will still be a way to play it. Because a lot of games shut down their servers and a few people who still play them well, can't play that game anymore because everything plays nowadays with online servers and not a lot of game has an offline capability such as Fallout and Skyrim. And since this game is... Oof, that was nasty. The way I play it, it's an offline solo game, especially the campaign, and it would be a shame if people couldn't play that in the future. Because people can fly, can die, and get shut down, and they turn down the servers because money. Which... I talked a lot about the future of this game, but I feel like the future is that it's already dead in the water. <laughs> Or death in the water. I don't have hopes that this game gets a big update. Especially if you see the World Slayer reviews. Which were mostly negative. And uh, I can't charge him. Damn you! And the community is also quite toxic. So playing online ain't really a possibility because i also heard a lot about cheaters and stuff so yeah i would say this game should definitely switch into offline if that's a thing in the future uh, i talked so much about dlcs and the future possibilities and outriders too and also a horde mode, but it just seems like nothing is going to happen. We can dream about a lot of great possibilities and imagine a lot that life brings. And uh, in the end, reality is more disappointing most of the times than our imagination if you especially if you have good creativity verdammt ich würde mich gern besser ausdrücken können in english i would like to express myself better in english that's something i'm still and always will be working at <coughs> that's why also audio tests like that are so goddamn important so if I talk and the music is too loud that it doesn't just sounds like mumbling because loud music and loud talking cancel each other out and one of those things needs to give and since music is more complex with a lot of different frequencies and pretty much if you make a song you try to cover all those frequencies Therefore, it will cancel out talk way easier. That's also why instrumental music is way easier to make than music with rap and singing. Because music melodies cancel out a lot of frequencies, like I said. And that means that when you speak in there, it will sound muffled, it will sound muddy. If I listen to loud in-game music and sound and talk over it without any other processing, it would just be an audio mess. That's why sidechain compression is so important. Oh, damn. Don't hit me like that. Oh boy. They're coming in for the kill. Got them mosquitoes.
the game. The problem with this game right now also is, well, it has had an update in ages. I should back off. Didn't have an update in ages, so nothing really has changed, and it's still the same grinds. And right now, I would wish for all the expeditions at my hands, not just four, so I can have all the 20 expeditions to choose from, which I have not most of the time. It's four expeditions, and I would nowadays like the chance to choose from all the expeditions so I can choose the one I haven't played then go through all the 20 ones 20 expeditions so <laughs> how many there are I don't know right now Oof. right now how you would do that if you find yourself always fighting the same four expeditions because that seems to happen quite often you would have to back out of the game or the session again which is quite annoying and nothing is worse than playing the raid over and over again the rate of Tarya repetitiveness Or even last time when I played it, I had a weird glitch where I just died randomly. I still don't know why. Or we get to that problem at level 25 again. Right now, I need to get to level 25. Get myself that last trophy that I need. And then... Eye of the Storm probably soloing that for last time. And if the game by then doesn't have any future, I guess it's dead in the water. And I'm gonna play some more death in the water. Because that game actually is quite good for a two people project. That needs to be said more often. How good that game is for a two people project. Hopefully he has a big future, but you never know. There are so many good indie games which die because they uh, don't get that good of a publicity. Which is most a problem of maybe just spending resources. You know, you spend a lot of money on a project, a game project, and then all those phones get into making a good game and then you don't have any money left for re for marketing which is definitely a thing which brings me back to the audio plugins i always could pay more money to get better audio plugins there are endless good audio plugins seemingly but then there would be no money left for actually marketing my music. Brrr, a session. A session. Ascension points. Haven't seen you in a while. What's the stuff for max health? Next armor bonus increase here. Yeah, let's put it. Let's put it and forget about it. Outriders is just random talks nowadays, which is kind of also cheers up. And I still have video idea plans for this game. I also could dive more into the reshade field. Let's see if I have one. Oh, damn, no, look at that. I do not have one, which I could do in the future. Play Outriders with more reshades. Hmm. Which one was the Dead Space one I like? This one. This one. Damn, you dark. You dark, man. You dark. Which I could brighten up a little bit. Technicolor. Bleach. Nope, this doesn't do what I want. 
D4 all the way down. Holy hell! <laughs> nope. Karma, karma. I can darken it up again. Exposure, saturation. Talking about saturation. Huh. Holy hell. Okay. Technicolor, cool. Oops. I just mm -hmm. I just got it dark as all hell ambience light maybe but I turned it on Don't seem to change much right now kind of weird when you mess around with that oh damn <laughs> look at that difference all of a sudden that's weird that's weird holy hell there's so much to change here mm. damn damn how does this look in my recording software even dark as hell i can sh put it up lighter in here put some light on that um nope that's not the right thing damn same contrast maybe oh yeah oh <laughs> holy hell holy hell yeah why not <laughs> why not uh, that's always something i can do for the future mess with reshades the approximate location of a pod for you. Tell me more. This is a dark part. I need to check that again right now. Yeah, it looks better on your screen than on mine. Trust me. It's way darker. Um, um, um. That sounds like a good future plan and idea in my mind. Oh boy, if I actually survived this. Problem always is if I change a reshade up a little bit, it stays like that for the next game I play it with. And sometimes it's just made for certain games, and therefore it just looks better in those games. And then changing it back is a hell of a lot of shoot work. Fish work. Who's spitting at me? You... You die now? Oh. Can I just walk out of here? Nope. Nice try, man. Nice try. Same. That corner is just death. I should stay in here. Oh no, I can't. That thing will not allow it. Oh no, I ran out of ammo. Yep. Like I said. Can't see crap either. Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. Damn, that gun is just the perfect weapon. 
Don't get all those explosions. Woo! That's why this game is so goddamn amazing. Oh no. Oh, my nose is itching. God damn it. If an Outriders 2 comes out or a big DC, I definitely want to play the main campaign again. Also, maybe with reshades and with my Technomancer class. The female version. There's the pod. But it looks like the forest has claimed it for itself. So, oh no, I was too late for a screenshot. Ah, God damn it! now I got a black screen. A screenshot of a black screen. Mm, that looks nice. Whoa! The whole forest seems to be pissed at me. Where the hell did the pod go? Oh... Uh. Maybe I'm just too much of a pessimist. Here's the part. And they will bring an update. On new DLC. But, like I said, oh, Woods... Pretty angry, I get that. But I'm still gonna need that pod back. Woods Lair was pretty disappointing. It wasn't bad, but it's kind of just... It didn't bring the endless grind that would have been more fun than what they brought. This just made no sense after like the sentence I said. The endless grind wasn't what people wanted. And the content they brought for the price tag wasn't quite satisfying. Especially for me who plays a lot of indie games for 20 euros that bring more content. And that one trial was not the best solution. I would have definitely went for more expeditions. I'm camping the board. What the hell? <laughs> it's just... Too much on my screen. Mosquito! Oh boy! That's where the reshade Fs me, because it's too dark in here. Come on, hunt the prey. Hunt the mosquitoes. I hope this looks colorful on your screen. I'm not the master dumb experience here. Oh, there was a good one. Oh, he got me. He got me, girl. Mosquitoes. Hey, them. My worst enemy. Oh, boy. That's bad. Oof. That's even worse. Die! No! Duh. Oh god, thanks. Kill it! God, he hit me. The poison is assholes. Oh. I'm still waiting for some free wood slay expeditions with the new enemies, but nope. That would have been on welcome edition. Oh boy, it's getting even darker. Holy hell, you can't see crap. Worst three shade for that level. I 
don't need that. Worth it. Worth it. No clue what's going on. It's so dark. Oh boy. Yeah, eat it. That's a good one. Really? Oh, it surprised me. It's so I think dark. Uh. Yep, I'm just trying that in the middle of the game. Okay. Dead. No chance. Oh yeah. So one more wave I can't remember. Hello, my friend. Ah, you cool? You cool? Ooh. Nice explosion. That would have been a nice screenshot too. Juno, I found the pod, and the beast responsible for your missing people. Beasts were too quick. Oh hell no! Time to react. Thank you, Outrider. We can finally put them to rest. Okay. No change to everything. And now it looks bad. Lots. The hell is this thing? Huh. Interesting. Contrast. Swap down for Shibong. Oh no. Don't keep it down, keep it cool. Okay. Too much, too much to mess with. Outrider yeah. detected. Access granted. Yeah, drop me stuff. Damn, this takes a while. I don't see good stuff in <coughs> pistol. Got the <coughs> pistol. Uh, uh, nothing gold. <clears throat> nothing gold. My voice is dying. I'm crying. I'm not lying. Let's let me show you what I'm working with audio wise. Or not, because it's not working. God damn it. What the hell is wrong with you this time? Okay. Okay, now it's working after the upgrade update nothing quite seems to work um here's my microphone filter there we have an rx8 <clears throat> breath control to silence my breaths in between talking breaks that's a compressor a free one looks like that there you can see a little bit of compression it's just to get the first compression in and out black box which is a hell of a blogging uh, that's the big saturation plugging I have here. You can there see a little bit of saturation be done, be made. That has some kind of separation, separation, saturation in it. ME equalizer, that's the second ME plugging I have here, which has an EQ. That's my normal EQ. Here you can see me talk. I hope that's big enough on the screen. And now I have a bunch of saturation on there. That's a good free equalizer to get. That's the same one as the compressor here. Emmy compressor. Melda audio. They have a hell of a lot of amazing plugins that I use all the time. Also an autotune plugin that's pretty good. Rough Rider, the next free compressor. Here you can see a little bit of compression being done. That's a compressor. 
Did you know what that's the thing I've been saying all the time? That's the equalizer, the dynamic equalizer. Which this one is the important one. This one. It silenced my s my s that I had a lot at the beginning. That's something I focus on. So my s get more silenced. That's why it's so good. And the last one is the Shadow Hill Mastering Compressor. Shadow Hill and Black Boxes both from plugging alliance which i also got for free so everything in here i actually got for free but black box and shadow hill aren't free anymore but that's a big goddamn woku chain out of free plugins that i got but looking out for that okay okay loot i got was trash as hell like always <laughs> there was even some blue stuff in there look at that Oh god, that's the worst loot I've ever seen. Disgusting. Level, nothing quite changes there. It will take me forever. Drought, done that. Last episode. Star Grave, didn't do that for a long time. Boomtown and Molten Deaths. Huh. So it's Boomtown or Star Grave, which I'm gonna play right now next with some reshades. Oh, in the meantime. Thanks for watching. Peace, the uh, phone.